Hello, 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 Facebook friends. Uh, we are coming to you live uh, with a very exciting new addition to the lineup. Uh, the Airstream is something that we've been carrying for uh, a bunch of years now, but uh, in my opinion, nothing, uh, nothing this fun. Uh, this is the Tommy Bahama version of the Airstream, limited edition, and uh, it is every bit as cool as I was hoping it would be. Uh, this trailer came with more trinkets and glasses and bottle openers and towels and blankets than, than anything I've seen. So I will take you through it today and, and show it to you. This is the only one we have. This is the first one we've got. Um, and we wanted to get a video to you right away. Uh, it's still a little dirty, but we wanted to get it out to you. Uh, we're not sure how long it'll be here for, so at least this way everybody gets to see it. And if you want to come in and have a look a little closer, you can. Um, but this is kind of what I'm talking about here, some of the stuff that it came with. Uh, two very, very comfortable chairs. Tommy Bahama imprint on basically everything. Cooler in between, you don't have to go very far. Bottle openers here. There's a bottle opener on the cooler. I mean, it's, uh, this thing is made for fun in the sun, and uh, we figured since it snows pretty much every day lately, we may as well break it up with something fun like this. Uh, so uh, why don't we head on in, Michelle? Um, and we'll come through the door. Uh, have a look at the, the special edition screen as well. They've uh, given it the Tommy Bahama imprint. Um, Another cool little feature too, if you listen up, you got a doorbell. Ring the doorbell for happy hour and uh, away we go. Uh, so we'll come on in and let's have a look. So uh, we'll start at this end, Michelle, because uh, this is something that Traveland has been doing for a little while now and it's the, the back hatch um, off of the rear um, and they've uh, got a retractable screen there. so. Uh, once you pull that screen up and you remove the table, uh, this whole thing is uh, is a big storage cabin, uh, bikes or canoes, kayaks, whatever have you. Nice big storage, uh, but pretty pretty cool. I mean, they've really they've really done this thing out. Everything is uh, you know from uh, from the shades to the cabinets. Uh, let's have a closer look here. The, you know, you got the slatted cabinets. Uh, it's it's very Tom of Bahama. It's geared towards. Uh, tropical vibes, island living, that's for sure. Still keep the hidden hinge, uh, the big reinforced hidden hinges here. It's all still real wood. Um, it's just a, a completely different decor style. I mean, you look at these cushions here. You got accent pillows all over the place. Uh, very, very, very cool. Um, lined out through this uh, this dinette here, you do have some storage as well. Um, uh, the the airstream quality is, is still very much there. Um, but it's just the attention to detail um, throughout. Uh, if you if you look through the top, you've got your Tommy Bahama sliders. It's all backlit. That's a ton of storage in there. Um, but it, it keeps a very open open feel to it. Um, and then again, obviously you got your Korean countertops. One nice thing about this model, they've gone with that big, very modern, deep stainless steel Kohler sink. Um, so again, with the Airstream. Airstream quality, they're not uh, watering down the brand with um, any cheap appliances. Kohler sink, very nice. You got the flip up here, a little bit of extra workable space. Um, and then the, the special edition, edition handles as well. You know, the thick stitch, uh, leather straps. Very, very, very cool. Um, stainless appliances, so this is the, the more modern uh, oven available from Dometic. Uh, stainless, right? You got. More of a modern feel through the handle, and then one big glass top cover with the stainless hood range as well. Um, did you have a look at that wall there, Michelle? Again, everything. There's just so many little bits of character in this trailer that make it uh, very uplifting. It's very happy in here, very fun to be in here. Um, let's uh, let's swing around back to this side here too. Uh, I know we're all over the map here, but uh, let's let's take a look here because these uh, these slats. Again, super cool. I'm a big fan. You know, it's there's a lot of, of little angles that they've uh, they've absolutely nailed in here to make this uh, a great looking trailer. But um, I guess the piece de la resistance is if we look down here, we have a backlit bar. I mean, if that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen, um, whether you like to have beverages or not, I mean, that is uh, that is pretty cool. You got a little ice box back there. Fill it with ice. There's a drain in there, so that'll drain out. Um, and then uh, you, you got lots of workable space. You got storage down here for for wine bottles or uh, spirits, 
you know, scotch or whiskeys, whatever you like. Um, and again, to, to kind of touch on some of the doodads that it came with, uh, you got more bottle openers, so yeah, you don't have to go very far to open your bottle. We uh, oh, we got a question. Yeah, uh, Susie would like to know what's the weight? Uh, the weight of this is 6,200 pounds. Okay. Um, so half ton towable. Uh, we can touch a little bit more on the suspension and the towability of them once we walk around the outside. Um, but yeah, we got uh, a couple more bottle openers. Uh, we got, uh, I think, four of these big coffee mugs, nice big mugs. Uh, I think we got six of these guys. Again, everything is Tommy Bahama limited edition. We got the signature island blend Tommy Bahama candle. Um, we have the Tommy Bahama, uh, I guess I like to call them whiskey rocks, but now they're just stones you put in the freezer. Um, and then once they get cold, you can put them in your, uh, in, your, in your whiskey or your scotch and they won't water it down if you like to drink it neat. Um, another cool little feature here, ice maker. Uh, so really, I mean, if, if you like to have beverages, this is, this is kind of the honey hole. This is uh, where we come to uh, get, the, get the day going, for sure, or the night. Maybe we should wait till the night time to get it going. <laughs> uh, vacation time, right? Uh, again, you got your big six cubic foot fridge, cabinets throughout, lots of storage through the bottom here. And then uh, big storage here. You got your microwave here. So uh, this is something that Airstream's been doing for a while, but keeps it very clean. It's there when you want it. And then nice slide out pantry. Gives you lots of space in there. You're not digging around at the back to find your stuff. And then I'll, I'll let you go ahead, Michelle. And then as we get into the midsection here, uh, you got your big wardrobe. So the, the 27 FB floor plan is available in a couple different models. Um, the International makes it as well. Uh, and in this 27FB, you do get this big wardrobe. Uh, so this is where you're going to store a bunch of your stuff. A couple empty boxes in there, but you see you got your awning rod. Um, it comes with towels. comes with the mugs. I mean, it's, uh, it's almost ready to go camp and throw a couple of plates in here and uh, pick, up your, pick up your perishables and you're, you're on your way. So you have that big um, wardrobe there. And then this is your shower here. So... When you're in the bathroom, this comes across, and it's nice how it angles like that. It gives you lots of extra space. And then your shower here, nice big shower. You have to excuse the winterizing fluid in there, that pink stuff. Then you got a, um, a hanging clothesline there too. You got wet trunks or something from the beach. You just hang them up up there, let them dry out. And then takes us into the bathroom. A lot of a lot of character in there, that's for sure. You are uh, again jungle vibe, tropical vibes for sure. Uh, porcelain foot flush toilet, Korean uh, solid surface countertops in through the bathroom. Um, they even throw a, a little uh, hand soap in there for you, Tommy Bahama as well. Uh, and all of your all your lights through here are recessed. We got a light switch in here. There we go. Recessed LED lights, very very trim. So again, this if you've seen a 27 FB before, this midsection setup isn't different. Looks completely different than anything you've seen before, anything that Airstream's ever done. Um, and then behind us, we got the FB stands uh, for front bed. In this case, it's uh, a walk around bed, north south, not east west. Um, so you have lots of space to walk around. And then again, it's uh, the Airstream. Uh, uh, vibe is um, windows all around, so you got lots of uh, lots of light coming in. Uh, the Samsung bedroom TV, um, and then uh, the Samsung TV in the living room too. Uh, available options on this, we put a second air conditioner in here. I mean, obviously you're you're hoping to catch some sun in, in this guy. So two ACs. Uh, Airstreams went to a new quiet stream air conditioning system where. Um, it's more of an intake, so it uh, doesn't sound like there's a jet engine in your air every time you get the air conditioning going. Um, so having two of those is really going to uh, cool this thing down. Um, and then once we go to the outside, we've also got uh, the window awnings, which keeps a lot of look super cool. Um, and then the electric awning as well off of the side, which Airstream has started to do uh, and make an option. So um, I'll get out of the way. Ben, this is your screen here. So it's, it's held down by magnets, but it's uh, very, very neat. Just slams right down, 
No open areas. That's bug free. No Zika in this bad boy. That's for sure. Well, there you go. Um, and then come back to here, and then just give her a slam. It's closed. So it's, uh, I love it. I'm a big fan. Uh, I don't have a Tommy Bahama shirt personally, but uh, I'm you know, getting to the point where it might be time to get one. Um, but lots of, uh, lots of cool trinkets, doodads you can see there too. Those are the, these are the new stairs, uh, so they fold away. Let's see if I can show these to you. Pretty simple, pretty easy, very, uh, very tidy look clean look and then super strong built right into the frame so uh, those are also new instead of just the uh, those rinky old uh, fold out steps that they had uh, so let's take a step back let's have a look at this awning so this is electric you hit the button out it goes sorts itself out uh, and they use a sunbrella material uh, so it's not a vinyl it's a cloth material uh, very durable. Uh, that'll keep the sun off you if it rains. It'll keep your camp spot dry. Um, but uh, definitely a, a nice pattern to it. And then these are the window awnings that I had mentioned. So that's what they look like when they're in. They're super easy to do. There's a, a grab rod inside the trailer too if, uh, uh, if you can't reach. And then it'll just hook in. And so these ones you just kind of put these little arms in and that's it they roll up and then there's velcro so that's neat and tidy they really do keep a lot of sun off of the windows though I mean I'm a huge fan of how they look this is very traditional Airstream um, especially when they got funky colors like this but they do help with keeping it cool um, so function and fashion um, and then again we got the rear Airstream um, bumper here, and then that's where you're going to throw your sewer hose into. Um, you don't you don't have to put it in there. You can put other storage in there as well. But you got that there. LED lights. Um, you know, for a bunch of years, Airstream hasn't went away from the the core, the foundation, the build principles. Right? It's still a shell within a shell. It's riveted. It's aircraft aluminum. Um, they say that 85% uh, of Airstreams are still on the road, and they've been building them for I think 85 years, right around. Uh, right around there so I mean that is a big big number of trailers that are still on the road considering that most trailers have the uh, life expectancy of probably you know 20, 25, 30 years so um, to have an 80 year, 80 year uh, trailer is, is, uh, is a pretty big thing and it just goes to show you how well made they are uh, they fit together very uh, very well and I mean if you, if you look at all those rivets up close you could see uh, it's, it's pretty special so uh, we'll go around to the front here because there's a little bit more of a, a Tommy Bahama touch. Uh, the Tommy Bahama Relax Edition badge. Um, anytime we get these special edition Airstreams, they sell very, very fast for us. And from, uh, from customer feedback and experience through the dealership, they, uh, they always have high resale too. So um, very, uh, very exciting anytime they make a special edition like these. And then if you could see, can you see that, Michelle? The front protection on this uh, this window protector has got a bit of a floral imprint with the Tommy Bahama sailfish on the front too. So people are going to know what you're traveling in, and uh, when it's special edition, people uh, people get pretty excited about these kind of things. So uh, electric tongue jack on the front. I mean that's cranking uh, cranking the handheld one. I mean that's usually one of the worst parts of the setup. So electric tongue jack. Uh, actually have electric uh, stabilizing jacks, electric awning, setup's easy, you can drink a beer faster, you can drink a beer while you do it, um, one hand pretty much on everything. So, piece of cake, big 30 pound tanks with the aluminum cover, and then uh, these come standard with two batteries on the front as well. So, LED lights, two batteries, um, you're going uh, to have good battery life. And then we'll come down to this side and you can see this is the, the nice big long window awning that goes down the entire side so it's uh, 
a great looking trailer. I'm not sure if you can see from there, Michelle, but these are metal wrapped. So when they're all the way in, um, there's a metal shroud over the awning barrel, which covers this fabric. So if you do uh, nick something, it's just going to hit the metal and protect the fabric. So uh, a little nicer there. And then if you go up to the roof, you can see there's your two ACs. To cool it down, I mean, when it gets up to 40 degrees, um, you know, it's, it's nice to have those two air conditioners, that's for sure. You want to be able to go inside and cool down, that'll do it. Um, I guess to touch on the towability too, Airstream is one of the uh, only manufacturers that is, is building standards with Goodyear tires, a nice reliable tire underneath of you, um, but uh, there's an actual gas strut in the suspension, so they handle the road um, a lot better, um, and there's not, uh, uh, there's not a lot of uh, wind resistance behind these either, obviously. There's not many edges that the wind can grab onto, so they track very well, and uh, you know, there's not much pull behind them either. So. Um, uh, solar is something that we like to do at the store just because some people don't use it if they're plugged into uh, shore power all the time then they don't need it so if you if you want solar it's solar ready um, there's a quick connect on the battery or we can actually hardwire solar into it um, and plumb that into your battery so that is def definitely a common thing we do here um, and then uh, yeah so I think that's about it maybe we should just take another quick uh, quick stroll I'll quit rambling so you guys can enjoy the beauty and a little bit of peace and if you have any questions then make sure you let us know hopefully I didn't forget anything do you want to do another quick scope of the inside too I guess to touch on a couple things before we do take off too, all these lights are on dimmers. So if you look to the ceiling, you can see you can set the mood. Lights are on dimmers, and uh, these uh, are standard with an inverter as well, so you can use uh, your plugs uh, while you're on uh, your batteries. Um, be cautious of that. But there's a few plugs; they're all labeled throughout the trailer. And they say inverter on them, so um, you have uh, you have that too. Well, I think that does it. Hopefully we got you guys acquainted enough with, uh, with this piece of artwork. Uh, come on down to see it firsthand if you'd like. Um, somebody would, uh, would love to be able to take you through in person. Uh, I, there's, there's still some things that I didn't open. I, I wanted to leave them in the package and stuff uh, for the person that does actually get to take this home. So, uh, so it's still new, but a uh, very cool trailer. Uh, we're excited about it. Hopefully you're excited about it. Come on down and have a look.